we are doing some spreadsheets in Microsoft Excel and we're going to be looking at the AND, OR and NOT operators and where do we use these things. So the AND, OR and NOT operators, they are used when we are comparing multiple conditions so or multiple logical tests. We've done logical tests in if statements before and that's the first part where we say is this true or false. And so ANDs and ORs and NOTs are used when we're dealing with those basically trues and falses. So let's just go at the top here. I want to show you some examples here. Okay, so an AND can work with multiple conditions. I'm just going to use two for this example. And the way the AND works is AND means, or the only way AND works is that both must be true for the whole thing to be true. So if you've got two conditions and they are both false, then if you AND those two conditions, the final result will also be false. Okay. And then if you've got condition one is false, and condition two is true, well, remember AND means they must both be true for the whole thing to be true. So in this case, that's false as well. Okay. And if condition one is true and condition two is false, well, that's also going to be a false. Because the only way that an AND will return a true statement, a true uh, result, is if both the conditions are true. Then in this case, it will be true. Okay. And if there are multiple conditions, they must all be true for the AND to return a true overall. So if you've got multiple conditions and you want both of them to be true, you would then use an AND. What about an OR? Well, an OR works like this. As long as one of the conditions is true, the whole thing will be true. So if condition 1 and 2 are both false, well, there's no true conditions there, so this will return a false result. But if the condition 1 is false and condition 2 is true, well, there's at least one true, so this thing is true. Okay, and if condition 1 is true and condition 2 is false, well, one of them is true, so it's true. And if they're both true, well, obviously you just need one, but you've got both of them true, so they're true. So the way you remember, and all the conditions must be true for the final result to be true. With an or, one of the results must be true for the final result to be true. And then a not, um, I don't use not very often, but if a not basically takes one condition and just inverts the result. So if it's false, it will make it true. And if it's true, it will make it false. Okay, so if this is still confusing, that's fine. But let's see it in some examples. So I'm going to take this out the way. And yeah, I've got some examples over here. So I've got a whole bunch of people and they wrote tests. Okay, and to get a pass, you must get above 50 for a test. Okay, that's a pass. Now, We've got a little statement here. You must pass both tests. So you must get above 50 for test 1. And you must get above 50 for test 2. Does that make sense? You, you want both of those two statements to be true. So if I write here, if I can say equals if B11 is greater than equal to 50. That's a true. And equals, and this is if C11 is greater than or equal to 50. That's a false. So therefore, then you need to, you must pass both tests. So this would result in a fail because they must pass both tests. So where would we use this? We would normally use this in an if statement. So if we wanted to say the word pass, if they passed both of the tests, do you see now there are two logical tests here? We want to check if this is above 50 and that that's above 50. So we will say equals if. And so here in the logical test, here is where we would put our AND. So you would put an AND and then open bracket, what are the tests? So this would be what you would normally put in the if statement. So we would say if the test 1's value is greater than or equal to 50, that's my first test. My second test is if C11 is greater than or equal to 50, close bracket. So it's going to take those two tests. They look very similar to what you would put in if statement. If they are both true, then this whole thing will be true. And if the whole thing is true, then you will do what's in the true part of the if statement, which is display the word pass. And if it's not, then you would display the word fail. So in this, instead of just having one logical test, you can have two. But the way they're combined is if they're both true, then the whole thing is true, which is, makes sense in this one. Oh, what do we leave out? Oh, we left out a... Part. Yeah, what do we, oh, we've got too many double quotes there. There we go. Okay. There we go. So that person failed. Why? Because they didn't pass 
the second test. Okay. So, no, not that one. Let's make that one bigger. Looks a bit funny there with a small result. Okay. But if I drag that down, those two people, or that, that those two tests are both above 50, so they got to pass. That's a fail because they failed test one. That's a fail because they failed both tests. And that's a pass because they got above 50 for both tests. So do you see how an AND works? As if both of them are true, then the whole thing is true. And so if you've got multiple logical tests to look at, then you can use an AND. But what happens if you pass, you just need to pass one of the tests. As long as you got above 50 for one of them, you're fine. Well, in that case, we're going to use an OR. So in that case, we could say equals if. And instead of using an AND, we're going to use an OR. It works exactly the same. You say OR open bracket and we put the logical test for which means well test one must be greater than equal to 50 comma what's the second logical test that test two is greater than equal to 50 so what we've got here is a logical test where we've got two logical tests or so if one of them is true the whole thing is true so in that case we want to say hey if they pass one of them they get a pass but if they fail both then it's a fail. So this whole thing will only be true if one of those is true. That's how an OR works. Remember OR? As long as one of them is true, the whole thing's true. So in this case, you'll notice something slightly different. When I drag this down, we get a lot more passes. Why? Because in this case, they only pass test one, but that's fine. They just need to pass one of them. This one, they just need to they pass both of them, so it doesn't make a difference. Here, they pass just test two, so they pass yeah. There's the only person who failed both, so they still fail, and this person passed both, so they got passed. So there we go. So that's how you use an OR or an AND. Another way that you can use it, let's say there's a supplementary. So yeah, we worked out the average of their tests, and you qualify for a supplementary if you got an average of between 45 and 50. So it's between that range. So it must be so your average must be above 45 and at the same time it must be less than 50 then you qualify for a supplementary well in that case we're going to use an and so equals if we're going to use an and here now logical test if the average is greater than equal to 45 comma and at the same time that same average is less than 50 so that's how you can do a between. So if it's greater than 45 and at the same time it's less than 50. If F11 is greater than 45 and F11 is less than 50, if that's true, then they qualify. We can say the word yes. Also, we can say the word no. Okay, so if we look at these results, that was the only person that qualifies for a supplementary. These three don't need it because they've passed. That one's failed outright. So there we go. So that's how you work out. You can use an AND to do like a between. Between 45 and 50. Use an AND. If F11 is greater than or equal to 45. And at the same time it's less than 50. There we go. Okay. And then an average pass. Well, an average pass is if they um, got above 50. If their average is above 50, so normally if you want to say yes, they got an average pass, it equals, this is just a normal if statement. If that value is greater than equal to 50, then we can say yes or pass. If it's not, we can say fail. Okay, so there's nothing new there with, so that person got to get above 50. So those that got above 50, you can see there. Well, another way of doing it, well, if it's less than 50, we know that's a fail, but we want the not of that. So if it's not less than 50. And so that's how we would use a not. That's another way of, it's the exact same thing. If it's not less than, if F11 is not less than 50, then it's a pass, which makes sense. If it's, then it's above 50. And there you would get the exact same results. So that's just another way that you can use a not if you want to use the opposite of your condition. Okay, so there we go. That's the AND and the OR and the NOT operator. So you use them when you are using multiple logical tests, particularly in an IF statement um, or nested IF. That's when you would use 
the ands and the ors. For more videos on Excel, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like the video. We'd love to hear from you, so give us your feedback. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.